Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So, so busy here and I haven't had much time to do much videos and also it's beginning to look like fall here. I've been going through my fall clothes because I usually pack them in containers and put them in the basement and I've been looking through and I pulled this top out so I just decided to wear it because it's looking like fall here already and it really smells good because I usually put these ones now I didn't separate them I just put three together inside a container with my clothing and it smells really lovely I got this from Bed Bath & Beyond and I paid $6.99 for the set and there's lots of different types you guys would have seen this in a previous um, haul I did and they also have a site that you can go on to buy it and it's it's made in in the states so they probably um, ship from there as well so and that's they give you different uses for this so you, you can put it in your closets as well you know anywhere that you want to freshen up but I think it's good to put with like your sweaters because I find when you pack sweaters away and you take them out for the first time they kind of have a, a little smell which signals that it's been locked away or put away for a long time so you need to put something my mom uses um what do they call those again those uh liners that you do laundry with fresheners i forget the name of them now but she that is what she uses but you can also buy these if they're affordable why not you can buy more than one set depends on how many um containers you're packing away you can add it to that so i'm just smelling my clothes because i have a, a, some of them in drawers in the bedrooms as well and when i pull the clothes out to wear them they smell so good it's mm, so lovely and i'm wearing this lipstick i hope it doesn't get on my teeth because sometimes that happens i find with these um types of lip colors or types of lipstick formulas they get on my teeth um they're more liquidy and it's from the la girl it's a glazed lip paint so this is the one i'm wearing right now this is it here and it's very messy to apply and um i think as you keep using it you it probably wouldn't be as messy as it was in the first because for me i don't use that one very often and that's because it's more messy than the other types that i'm used to using so when you put it on it goes all out to the lines and you always have to wipe it away wipe the excess so hopefully it doesn't get on your teeth so it's very messy but it smells like peppermint so i like that i like the color and i actually got this other one too but i don't like the color of this one this light pink it doesn't go nice doesn't suit me when i put it on it just doesn't show any color on me at all so yeah so this one is bombshell this is the name of the color it's bombshell and this one is peony so yeah so my favorite out of the two is the one on the top i prefer that one better yeah i just thought i would share that with you guys i don't know if you guys use that type but for me i find it messy and i don't use that is why i don't use it i keep reaching for the other types like the mats and stuff like that i mean it's got some benefits because i find when i use the matte lipsticks my lips start, tend to peel a lot more with the ones that have a lot of moisture like those ones it's kind of protecting your lips in a way so maybe it's a better one to use it's just that it's messy and i hate that now i'm gonna keep doing this because i think it's on my teeth 
but we'll see. And I went to, I told you guys, a 31 party a few weeks ago, weekends ago, and um, they had to order what I wanted, so I was waiting for it to come in before I showed you guys, and the person delivered it to everybody, so it took a little while to come in, but that's okay because there was a lot of orders, and plus they do order houses not just the one house they in the summertime they visit a lot of houses and do these parties like they call it so it came in a nice little bag on the other side has my name so i don't want to show you that and they gave me a book so it shows all the stuff that you can order and they have a new catalog, that's what they were saying on the front there. But I didn't order it because, you know, I don't, I have a lot of bags. So, but they have a lot of nice things and you can have it embroidered with your name, letters of your first name or whatever. I mean, look at how cute these things are. I find them a little bit pricey, but if you can afford it, why not? And there's lots of different things in here. This is, an, this is not the one that I placed the order from because um, actually what I ordered is on this page. The person doing the party was the one taking the orders. So whichever one she showed you, if you liked it, they give you the order sheet at the end and then you just put in the information, what color you want, what size, if you want it embroidered or whatever. And then you use your credit card or you, I paid cash for mine because it wasn't that expensive. And so I always make sure I have a little bit of cash in my wallet at all times because who knows with my, I use my credit card a lot, a lot. But if it's like small amounts, I tend to go with cash if I have it. Um, because what happens if your credit card doesn't work, you know? So... I don't know if you'll be able to see it so tiny, but it's right here. But I'll show you because I have the item. And this is different embroidered stuff you can put on them. So you just choose and then you order it from them or whatever. So yeah, they gave me that. And just a little paper telling you how you can reach the lady that did the party. You can also use her as a consultant to order for you if you need anything. She also has a website you can go on. So just show me what I order and this is it in here. And it's got their name, 31. Little and cute, I like this. It's got a little turtle on the side there, but I didn't really need this because I got a lot of makeup purses, but I'm thinking I can actually use this to put in my purse with things like um, band-aids and like Tylenol and a little care purse I will call it a care purse where you put things you might need while you're traveling or if we're going to Edmonton you get a headache or you got heartburn or something I can put them in here because they're not big and a hand sanitizer and maybe some wipes or whatever can all go in here and then when I pull out this purse out of my handbag I know well I know what's inside so that's what I'm going to use it for, not for lipsticks, because usually if I'm not going for overnight or whatever, I don't bring a lot of makeup. So, but I'm going to use it for that. If I'm going to be staying for more than a night, I would bring my other makeup purses. So I'm going to keep this and it's a soft material. So I think you can wash it if it gets dirty. So yeah. This is the one, super cute, and it's a mini zipper pouch. I think they're based in Canada. Okay, 
so the next thing I'm gonna do is open two Zulily boxes for you guys today I've got two um, so I've got a bunch of stuff coming from Zulily and um, so I will always have stuff to show you guys because I love Zulily so much I don't, I don't mind if the clothing doesn't fit because it does, it that just happens like a couple times not a lot and then like I said if you get something and you're not satisfied with the way it looks you can always let them know they give you uh, a credit you wouldn't get your money back because anything they sell you it's final sale so you can't get do returns on anything you buy but you can get a credit which probably might not amount to what you bought but still you know and um the other thing is if they cancel an order on you you get your money back that you paid exactly what you paid whether you, and with shipping or not if you didn't pay for shipping you just get the cost of what the item was and plus they give you some money some money towards like a, a store credit so you know they're good that way so I'm just gonna open this up and I'm pretty sure it's one item in each box because I think they can actually go smaller on the packaging so that they waste so that they use less paper you know what I mean well, actually it's more than one in here huh weird okay so this one has bras in it so this is the first one pretty cute and Try not to show the size and that's the back of it it's got like a really nice crisscross and what I like as well is that it hooks in the front there so that's super cute this is a better quality than the ones I ordered before I remember those ones came wrinkled but this is nice nice color I like it <laughs> Man, we came to smell. And then I've got this set has two inside. I'm gonna take this size off. And it's easier. I don't have to bother with well, actually. So there's two in here. One black with like a little ribbon on the front there. And then the other one is like a polka dotted kind super cute they're the I think these might be push up bras it says perfectly lined perfect fit lightly lined perfect fit bras so there's two in there and I love the little bow on them so cute love it and then this one is in here. This is a floral one. This one here is a push up, a push up bra. super cute and I'll show you the sleeves we got two colors on there so the front part is like a beige lacy type material and then the back is the blue this is cute I'm glad to have some nice bras because I don't really have too much nice ones and there should be some more in some other boxes so yeah, I was expecting this box to be something else, but I don't know. So this box had the three bras in there. Because I think I ordered this a while ago, but I don't know. So that was the end of that box. 
Yes, Mary, you like those? Hmm? Come up here. Come sit down up here. Come. <laughs> he wants to be in the video. see what's inside because I was expecting I thought it would be one item in there because I got these ones recently huh, I'm gonna have to check my um, records all right so this oh, okay so they're in here okay so this is got wrapped stuff so once it's wrapped like that, it means it's breakable things. Uh oh, it's gonna be hard to open this up. Hope I don't cut myself with my cutters. Okay, so I just stopped my camera because I didn't want to be fighting with this paper, but I'm gonna show you how much wrapping was on this mug. All this was on that mug, which is kind of nice because then you know that you're going to get your stuff and it won't be broken. So this is what I got, guys. My pumpkin mug. I've been seeing this for a long time. I actually saw one like it on Amazon a while back and I wanted to order it, but it was too expensive. I find for Amazon.ca, the stuff is more expensive here than if you order on Amazon.com, but then you'll have all those charges and stuff like that. So I don't order from Amazon.com anymore. So this is my little pumpkin mug and it's nice for fall. I can drink my tea in there and it's not too big So because I don't drink a lot of tea. Once a day is good enough for me, but sometimes if I'm not feeling well or if I've got a fever, I would probably drink tea more than once a day because tea helps me to get rid of the fever and stuff like that. I put a little bit of ginger inside and things like that. Mm. This is my cute little fall mug. It's super cute. That is so cute. I like how they wrapped it. And then I've got another one wrapped in here, so I'm going to stop my camera to open this up because it's going to be a lot of work and a lot of noise, so I don't want to have that in the video. Okay guys, so this one is a Christmas one, and you know my obsession with Christmas mugs. I've got what, about maybe five or six? I've got so many of those. And this is by the same company, it's called Refresh, Cypress Refresh. And I just fell in love with this because it's so unique looking and they're a good quality. I thought maybe there might have been a cheap, thin quality. I was looking at them because I didn't pay too much for these. And um, it just looked like a little Christmas tree with the lights on there so cute i just love these detailing uh, really pretty really cute so made in china and they've got a, a website as well it's myevergreen.com so maybe i can check that out and see what else they have but i just thought these are cute oh my goodness i wouldn't put them in the dishwasher because you never know so yeah Two beautiful mugs, one for Christmas, one for fall. That is so cute. Okay, so that was my unboxing and just sharing a couple things with you guys. And um, um, I'll probably do another video in a couple days or so because I've ordered a pair, well, two pairs of fall shoes from Zulily and um, I want to open them up. I know I got them because they're not in boxes like that. They came in the blue envelope but you can feel the shoe boxes so I know I got them in. So I want to open that up and uh, and check it out. 
and see what they look like because I don't really have a lot of nice fall shoes and I wanted a short type and I can still wear them in the winter like if it's not snowing because once it's snowing they wouldn't be good enough for that kind of weather like they wouldn't be warm enough so um but if we go to Edmonton in December and it's not snowing yet I can get away with wearing that last year I wore my runners for all the days that we were there and it didn't snow or anything so that was pretty good so I wanted the short ones because I hate taking my big winter boots and having to wear them in the mall when I'm walking. It's too much of a weight on my legs and then you feel uncomfortable. Your feet start to get hot because you're in a, in a mall. You don't need such warm clothing in there. So I'm glad I get these short ones. I hope they fit. They'll look nice with whatever outfit I choose, skinny jeans, tights, leggings, whatever I choose, they will look nice with instead of that big chunky winter boots. I mean, I love my winter boots. I love wearing it. It's nice and warm, keeps my toes nice and warm, but it just doesn't go with certain outfits. I mean, if you wear a nice sweater dress or something, it doesn't look nice without winter boots. It just looks kind of weird, so I'm glad I got there. One is like the booty type ones, which I like, and the other one is a little bit taller than that, but not like a, as tall as my winter boots. So that'll look nice with like jeans or tights or whatever. So I'm excited to open those up and see what they look like. I ordered so many footwear from. Zulily this year it's crazy um, a lot of the uh, summer shoes I haven't even gotten around to wearing them yet but they look nice the quality is good I mean you can find really reasonably priced um, shoes on Zulily and they look like a good like they will last a long time so yeah, I mean, there's expensive ones too if you don't want to buy the cheap ones because I know some people think that if you buy cheap stuff, it'll only last a couple months or whatever. They prefer to buy the expensive stuff, pay their money, know that they're getting something that's going to last a long time. So there's stuff like that, clothing as well, you know, there's the expensive one. The cheaper ones, the in-between ones, so they've got stuff for everybody, whatever you can afford. And I've got a ton of stuff coming again, so I am so addicted to shopping there. It's crazy. I'm like a stalker on their site every day. It's so crazy. And um, also I've got Pandora coming too because I ordered from the store in Grand Prairie. The lady is super nice. I she always helps me out and stuff like that so i wanted to make use of all their promotions but i always miss them so i don't know but that's all right i still ordered the two that i wanted and um, i'm gonna be ordering more from them because um, they've got a lot of new stuff coming out and there's stuff that i want from the older set i want to grab them before they retire because then when they're retired, you can't buy them anymore. And there's groups on Facebook that sell them, but I don't know if to trust them because you're taking a chance and then you might pay the money and when you get it, it's not real because I see a lot of charms are being sold on eBay and they're coming from China, which is fake. So who's to say that these groups didn't buy them off China's eBay? website or ebay's seller and um, passing it off like it's genuine you know what i mean so and there is no way you're gonna get your money back from that so i'm a bit skeptical there's groups for there's a group for canada that I, i'm a member of and um i actually wanted to buy something there but i something else came up and i didn't bother but i think um later on I'm going to look for a few Christmas charms that are retired that I wasn't able to purchase 
and uh, so hopefully they are genuine and I don't get ripped off in any way also I want to have shipping with a tracking number because usually when I order online I have a way of tracking all my purchases so I want to have a way of them sending it to me and I'll be able to check on it to see where it's at and stuff so all that I'll have to what you do is you go on if you're a member of their group you just post a picture of the one you want and just specify I'm looking for this charm and um, then I can always say well I want to also have it mailed out to me with a tracking number and the cheapest one available because sometimes if it's coming from like places like BC uh, British Columbia you pay a lot for shipping from there so um, and also you can pay with PayPal or you can pay with email so email payments so yeah I'm gonna see for the Christmas ones I might do that um, there's some more that are not Christmas ones that are retired but I might have to take a chance if I do want those ones as well we'll have to wait and see but I've got tons of stuff coming at the end of September we'll be going to Grand Prairie because I've got an appointment there and I don't know if I'll go into the mall I might I might not um, but I'll be ordering more Pandora I can probably go into the store and pick it up if I'm in the mall or I can wait and order it just that I'd have to pay shipping so if I'm in the store I won't have to pay any shipping right so we'll see I can probably phone her before I go there and see if she has them she can hold them for me and then I go into the store and just pay for them so we'll see how that goes but I want to place orders for Christmas presents because we're already in September and only a few more months left so I want to get a jump start I mean I've got a few things I've ordered so it's not a big deal but there's lots of other things I want to order for Christmas presents for my fiance so yeah that was it guys that was my unboxing on my rumbling and stuff like that so i will see you guys again in a couple days or so we'll see how it goes around here i gotta go put some laundry on the day is going so fast and i haven't done anything in here yet so i will see you guys another time bye now